So Oddity might not have had the marketing that Longlegs had, but let me tell you, it is definitely worth the watch. Oddity is the new film from Damien McCarthy. If you're not familiar with who he is, he made uh, the film Caveat, which I enjoyed Caveat. I thought it was a good film. I thought it had some pretty decent scares. I would definitely be more open to revisiting this than Caveat, but oddly enough, I kind of want to rewatch Caveat now. And there's an interesting cameo from uh, the rabbit in Caveat in Oddity. And that's almost all I want to say about this, but I can't because I need to tell you guys um, what this is about. Although in my last couple of videos, I've had like two people get upset that I don't talk about the film enough. And I understand, but also I try not to spoil things. But I am going to talk about Oddity in great detail, just sort of how it made me feel and sort of my expectations going in. And So what is this film about? After the brutal murder of her twin sister, Darcy goes after those responsible by using haunted items as her tools for revenge. Yeah, that, that's a good description, I think. Um, and I would not look up anything else about it. Now, Carolyn Bracken, she's the lead actress in this film, or one of the lead actresses. She was in a film also called You Are Not My Mother, which I've actually not had a chance to check out. But if you guys have seen it, uh, definitely let me know if it's worth the watch because it did kind of intrigue me uh, when I first saw the trailer for it. Uh, but then there's also Gwillem Lee, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. And it says here he was in Bohemian Rhapsody. Hmm, I wonder who he played in that. And this was a film that went completely under my radar. Um, I did not really know anything about this film until just probably about a month ago, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and you know, Shutter Films... I usually, it, it really just depends on sort of the festival buzz, like uh, In a Violent Nature, that was an IFC Midnight film uh, that was also distributed by Shudder, and it did pretty well coming out of the Sundance Film Festival. I heard a lot about that film going into it months before its release, but this was one that just kind of jumped out of nowhere. And I've seen claims, people saying that this is the scariest film of the year, one of the scariest films that they've ever seen. Um, and I want to talk about the film a little bit, and I want to just, I, I don't want to overhype the film, and I don't want to set certain expectations. And I do want to clarify that the reason why I like this film is not because it is scary. And the reason why it is, I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it. it. It's probably, I'm not even kidding, it's probably my favorite film that's come out this year. I'm not kidding. It is, it is that good. It is that good. But it's more so the atmosphere and sort of the pacing and the way that the story is told. Because this film is not a large budget film whatsoever. It's probably... I would, imagine, I would be very surprised if this film even had a million dollar budget. I mean, it probably did, I think. I know uh, McCarthy's last film, Caveat, uh, was around a $200,000 budget. So yeah, this film I'm pretty sure doesn't have the biggest budget at all. Um, and it's very much so different set pieces in these three-ish locations, which this film which one of the reasons why I really appreciate it is it's basically a textbook definition of you don't need everything in the world to make a great film. Even this film, it, it sort of had, and, and this is a crazy claim. I do not mean to compare this film to my favorite film ever made, and I don't, but it, it, it's, it sort of reminds me of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre where that film feels a lot more brutal and gory than it actually was. Like, it was not that gory at all. Actually, they were trying to obtain uh, a lower rating, a PG rating for that film. But this film, when I think back about it, they just executed everything so well. Like, this is, it's just a, like, it's bloody. It's got some gore in it. Um, but it's, it's more so there to, there's one specific, ah, I don't want to spoil it. But there is one specific editing choice that they did that involves a tent, and it's so clever. It's so good. I really, really enjoyed what they did. I almost appreciated it. It was, it was very unique, uh, the way that they did that. And also, it just, it's a dark film. Like, there's some dark subject matter. There's one specific line of dialogue that's used a couple of times uh, while one of the individuals is playing chess, talking to somebody else at his desk. Um, and they're, you know, talking about doing something. And, and it was just sort of some of the stuff that was being said. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, uh, but no, it was, I just really enjoyed everything about this film. I can't really think of anything that I did not like. I even thought the one thing that people might not like about this film is the final shot. I know I'm probably not deserving enough to use this word, but it was kind of cheeky. But the rest of the film is, it's very horrific. Like it's, it's, it's horror. I mean, it, 
it kind of reminds me of like an older style haunted house film, I guess. But the scares are actually really impactful. Like there's um, certain things with this camera, the tent. Um, they sort of go back and forth between time periods, showing you things. And it's all just executed very, very well. I really like this director's style where it seems like he takes these very simple premise and setups and just sort of morphs them into an all-around good story, a good narrative, a good film. And I'll definitely check out whatever it is uh, McCarthy does next. It was, it's an enjoyable watch. You should definitely watch this film. Um, I don't want to say more about it, although you can tell it's budget sometimes, which is not the film's fault. Uh, it is a very clean looking film. Like it's extremely clean, but I liked it. It was just, there was something about it. It was really good. There's also this wooden figure in it, which I didn't really even want to say anything about. I know I probably am going to throw it somewhere in this video, but, and it's on the poster, I guess. So sure. Okay. But I like the way that they utilize that. Um, and there's just so many different, uh, I guess you could say objects of symbolism in this, where at first when they were showing them, I was like, eh, I was like, I don't know. This is kind of just, I feel like these props are here to, to look good at times. And then I realized that they had a purpose for all of them. And I was like, okay, wow, I see what you did there. And they also do a really clever thing with the dialogue where they'll have one character present dialogue to another character. And you'll sort of think that you know their motives and then they'll turn around and they'll say something else or they'll say a very smart line of dialogue, like a very smart statement that not only throws the character off in the film, but it also as you throws off the audience, which I thought was very well done it, specifically one of the opening scenes it was very iconic actually um with a woman talking to a man in a doorway um, and it was just executed very well overall this was just a very clean film and a very clean film like two different cleans like it looked very clean uh but also it was just put together very nice uh, the acting was pretty good i had no issue with the acting whatsoever practical effects looked good for you know what was in it um, and I would just definitely recommend checking it out. It's a good film. I, I'm i shocked. I really am. This makes me not want to watch a trailer for any other film that I ever watch again. So who knows? Maybe I won't. But if you've seen Oddity, let me know what you thought of it down in the uh, comments below. I, I recommend checking Oddity out. It's fucking awesome. It's, it's a great film. You should definitely see it. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you guys want to check out my link tree, definitely check it out down in the description below. You guys can check out my filmography. It would mean the world to me. But anyway, guys, take it easy. I'll see you next time. <laughs>